Hi everybody. In this short video, I'm going to walk us through the procedure of starting a memo from scratch. We're not using the Microsoft Word templates for anything in TCOM 2010, so you need to know how to do a memo from zero. This video will show you how to do it. I've got a blank Microsoft Word document with one inch margins all the way around. You can adjust them as need be, but one inch is standard to start with. I'm going to put the word memo, short for memorandum, up top. After that, I'm going to put a to, so this will go to somebody, is from anybody. The date is March 13th of 2050. It is regarding the thing you wanted me to do. Then I'm going to put an underscore in here. Uh, there are a couple of different ways you can do this. I'm going to put, basically, I'm going to put a line all the way across the page. You can do it any way you want, multiple ways in Microsoft Word. But the big deal is when you do so, put some space between the reline and that uh, horizontal rule or horizontal line, as it's also called. The reason is, if you don't do that, look how smashed that is up there. That's all kind of squished. You want to make this line as easy to read as possible, so we'll put some space there. Then we're going to start out with, this is a one, not sun, but one sentence purpose slash topic statement that tells a reader what the memo is about and why she or he should read it. Trivia question, who is the person with the shortest memory in the world? The answer, your boss, whoever it might be. So when you write a memo that works and that uh, goes to your boss, this will remind them, oh yeah, I wanted Jane to work on this and this is why, oh, this is her report to me. Yeah, I need to read this. So then you're going to include the main body paragraphs. I've got a little trick here. So I'm gonna put in some dummy text equals lorem parenthesis, the number of paragraphs, the number of sentences per paragraph, hit enter, boom, got some dummy text there. So that's my full main body that I'd write in the memo, then end with a slash my initials to show that I typed this, and there we've got the basics of it. Now, looking at this, this is really, really plain. I need to fix it up a little bit. I'm gonna go up here to the top, the word memo. I want to make sure that my uh, text that I use here is going to contrast very nicely with the main body. One way to do that, and I want this to be readable from about three feet away if this, was, if this thing was printed on a page. So notice I've got sans serif huge and bold up here and serif text down here everywhere else. There's nice visual contrast there. We've also got a couple of things going on with the document design here. Notice there is space between all the paragraphs and that we're using what we call full block. So each uh, line or each paragraph will start against the left margin. That's standard in TechCom. We're gonna do this for all our memos. Exactly how you put this space in between, that goes in when you're talking about how to use Microsoft Word styles, that's a separate lesson. Then I will, sh I will show you this. I'm gonna highlight the two from date re I'm going to show you how to do hanging indents, or excuse me, not hanging indents at all. It's something entirely different. I'm going to show you how to do align the colons. So what I've got here up and floating is the left tab margin. I'm going to click and put a left tab out here somewhere. So where, for example, some body and any, that's where those are going to line up. So I'm going to start that just because I can right about, uh, right about there. Then I'm going to click through these until I get to the, come on, there it is. Then it looks like a uh, backward letter L. That's the right tab. I'm going to put that right about there. So then I'm going to put my cursor in, hit tab. Nope, come on, down, not up. Tab over. Tab tab, 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 tab. 
And now I've nicely aligned all the colons and all the material that follows the colons. So that looks kind of slick, doesn't it? Now if I want to, I could get a little bit fancy. I can bold these. Don't have to, but it's kind of nice. And if you look at it, that's a nice looking document. There are a lot more document design tricks to be done, but this is basically how to set up a memo. So to summarize, the word memo, large, bold, very large, very bold, very easy to read. To, from, date, re. Make sure you have the names. It's a good idea to write out the month name. Specify what it is in the subject line. You don't want to have it be too long. Don't want to have it to be too short. Include a one sentence purpose or topic statement that tells the reader what the memo is about and why she or he should read it. Your main body, short paragraphs. And then at the very end, typist initials. That's how you format a basic memo in Microsoft Word.